In this gray log feature video, we're going to go over alerts. Upon logging on to the interface here, I'm going to go up to the menu item of alerts. That's the top row, third menu button over. And on that home screen that opens up here, we're going to have the overview of all the alerts. These alerts are going to be some of them outstanding and they're going to be in the unresolved category. You can see by that red marker. And then if you click on the show all alerts, you'll have even the resolved alerts. Now you can click on any one of these alerts and drill into it. And when you get inside, you'll see the timeline up top, any trigger notifications that might have happened, as well as any messages that were around that same time during that. It gives you the context around that alert. Now if I go back up, I can also go over to the actual conditions that would fire these events to happen. Some of these would actually come through knowledge packs that you can install. But in here you can see, I want to go ahead and look at a DNS one. You can look at the alerting around it. You can edit that one. If I click on it itself, you can see some more details around there. How would it notify if this event would have happened? If I want to go ahead and create a new one, I can click on the little green button there and say, what stream do I want this to fire on? In this case, I want to look at DNS requests. And then there's a few options. There's a field content alert. I'm going to be looking for something inside of here. So if I want to take an alert and maybe say something like a domain alert, I'm looking for a specific domain. And in the field of DNS query, I'm going to go ahead and look for the term netflix.com. And then I'm going to go ahead and save that off. And now any time that the word netflix.com is detected in the DNS query field, on the DNS logs, it would go ahead and fire that alert. And then with that alert, it can be presented in that dashboard, but you can also create notifications. And notifications are set up by stream. In this case, you can do an email alert, an HTTP alert, or a script alert. A script alert would kick off a script. An HTTP alert would start off like a Slack post. And in an email, you can format that email in any format that you want, set up email recipients, set out who it's going to go to and give it a title. And then every time it detects that alert, it's going to go ahead and send it off in real time for you. Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully that helps a little bit and happy logging.